Hey, I just wanted to thank all of you that has subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. I can't believe I got to a thousand subscribers as quick as I did. Um, I mean, it was 11 months almost to the date uh, before, I, before I did, but still, I feel like that was pretty good considering I don't put a whole lot of effort into my videos like I should and like some people do. I'll try to do better eventually at that. It's just I get focused on doing my job and the task that I'm working on and don't really uh, put a lot into the video like I should unless I set out to do a video on something particular. Um, I kind of put the job I'm doing ahead of video on it, but I really appreciate y'all sticking with me and subscribing, helping me through this, and uh, hope to continue doing good videos or, you know, as good as possible, hopefully improve and maybe make a dollar or two to where I can get a drone or something eventually to help when we're bailing hay. I think it makes some good videos. Um, if y'all have suggestions on videos of things you'd like me to do or explain or talk about on the equipment to, to help you all be better operators or to understand things better, um, put it in the comments and let me, let me know, uh, what I can do, uh, maybe to help you all with some stuff. I've got some things planned, some videos that, um, I'm wanting to do that. It's, a, it's planned. It's going to be structured and informational, informative is my, uh, my hopes. I hope I can do that. Um, but I've got several good ideas. Uh, I know y'all saw on the video today or yesterday, yesterday, the video today is the one you're watching, but, uh, the one from yesterday, I had my Kubota cleaned up, my hay baler and stuff. That was probably from about a month ago or something. I was going to show you what it looks like right now. Yeah, it is a mess. An absolute mess. Got some good videos coming up. I hope y'all enjoy. Doing a, a driveway project. Uh, it was a big job. Me and Clayton both worked on it with two tractors. Uh, it took us about six hours to get it done. That's working as hard as we could work. Um, cutting sod off, putting it at a, a re-sloping it and ditching it. And uh, a lot of dirt moved that day. Lots of dirt. I, I hope y'all enjoy that. I've got one of us redoing a my little pond out here. I tore the cut the dam out of it and. Uh, rebuild it trying to get it sealed off better clean the muck out of it and things were always into that had some trouble getting out of the ditch when i uh, was trying to cut my dam out and uh, about got stuck had to push myself out with the loader so that's going to be a good video i not can't remember the dates when those come out got a full service video of the m6060 which is the same as the 7060 um from start to finish uh, that should be a good video if y'all got one of these tractors we got a lot of things coming and uh just be patient with me i'm gonna try to start doing a little better on my video and taking more time in in getting better shots and better at editing the videos i've just kind of been rushed doing a lot of work trying to put these together trying to work at school drive the bus and all that i just don't have a lot of time to put into editing the videos and actually even filming them um, unless Clayton or somebody helps me film them those usually turn out good but when I have to set up tripods or put the tractor on the camera and things I just do the do the best I can do but the video today primarily coming up after this is going to be doing some aluminum um, MIG welding with a spool gun using a Miller uh, sinker wave 210 a auto set welder excellent machine excellent excellent weld machine hope y'all enjoy it if you will please like and subscribe and um we'll catch you on the next one but stick around for the rest of this video oh yeah one more thing i got a new light from rule king to go back here in the back of the shop really lights things up good uh tiffany and the boys Got it for me the other day. I've been trying to straighten up and clean a little bit. But 
it's always been dark back here in that that back wall now it's lit up to where i can see what's going on okay today we're going to do a little bit of repair on an aluminum trailer you can see it's cracked right here somebody's tried to patch it it didn't hold so we're going to try to bevel it out a little bit re-weld it and we may put a little plate over it i'm not sure what we're going to do it's going to be a little tight to get into without taking this fender off i don't have any help with me or i would try to take it off but we're going to be using a miller uh sinker wave 210 it's an acdc arc welder tig welder and spool gun process it's an auto set it's a yeah, real 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 good machine from what i've used it got your storage in here for your foot pedal um, your stick electrode your tig electrode uh, holder electrode holders um, got chart in here for your amperage ranges and stuff but the spool gun in my opinion is the best feature of it you got a real good uh, spool gun I forget what model number this gun is spool mate 150 and where it's the auto set machine get it turned on here I haven't used this a whole lot so I kind of have to relearn it every time I do but right here I've got it set to the MIG process I'm gonna go to menu Oh, there we go. You got to hold it in. User menu. Your welding gun is the 150. Um, your wire, 4043. Size, 035. Material, let's look and see about what this is. Let's set it for three sixteenths and try that because it's a little thicker than an eighth. Um, okay. And then just hold it in. Menu off. It's got it set to that's your voltage and your wire feed speed. Preset. You can also program a SD card in here for different processes, I think is what that's for. I'd have to read on it and see. But uh, you got to auto set for all these features that really, really helps. We'll be using 100% argon shielding gas. So I'll get this beveled out here and we'll get started. Okay, we got it beveled out here and we'll try it and see what it does. Where I was welding that uphill, it was trying to burn through um, the metal, so I'd weld just a little bit and stop, weld a little bit and stop to where it would uh, penetrate it real good. I'm going to grab my wire brush, brush it off. I need a sand brush, but I don't have it. Okay, right there you can see the weld, not the prettiest thing ever was, but it burned in good. Now I'm gonna put me a feet grind, I'll probably grind it down flush to where I can put a plate over it. Now my plate is 
an eighth inch. Everything else will remain the same. Just turn it down to eighth inch. And she said, Now, not too bad. Got it weathered along that edge. I think I might lace another bead or two right in there, up this crack up through here before I quit. See right there where I built that in? Might grind it down, smooth it up a little bit. I don't wanna grind it too much though. Hopefully that'll keep it from cracking any more on him. But if you're looking for a good spool gun welder, and I mean a good one, Miller Sinkler, Sinkler Wave 210 stick, TIG, and spool gun combo. Real good machine, and I really like this Spool Mate 150. I, I like the way it's set up. But if y'all will, please like and subscribe comment and we'll catch you on the next one